Worldwide, there are as many as 200 million people with disabilities that experience difficulty or are prevented from reading printed books, magazines, and newspapers. I have retinal dystrophy, which is a medical way of saying that the retinal cells which collect light are very gradually deteriorating. I was brought up in a family of readers and the house was full of books. So books for me are, they symbolise home and they symbolise learning. The single biggest change for me came when I could no longer read you know, your average print size. I do enjoy reading books a lot. I like family sagas, I like books about different countries and cultures, but I don't have a great choice. I really have to read whatever I get my hands on. I was born with a disease that caused me to gradually lose my eyesight. I've been blind for nearly 15 years. I like to read detective books, and there are some Dutch authors who write very good detective novels. But even though there are about 20,000 books published in the Netherlands each year, only 10% of these books are published for the reading impaired. The vision of the Digital Accessible Information System, or DAISY Consortium, is that all published information be available to people who are blind or print disabled at the time of publication. In addition, the published information must be available in a highly functional, feature-rich format at the same price as the print version. I want to read new material, material about modern life, about today's debates, today's discussions. And that the big problem for me is that those books come out in print and it's several years if they ever get into a daisy book format. The shortage of daisy books and other content may soon be a thing of the past. A collaborative project between the Daisy Consortium, Microsoft, and Sonata has the power to transform millions of open XML documents into daisy format. A free plugin to Microsoft Word allows any open XML document to be saved as daisy. I can't imagine now there's a single book that has not been typed into a word processor when it was first authored. If publishers use the Save as Daisy feature to provide us titles from the original electronic copy of a book, we will be able to provide the accessible version much faster and just as importantly, make more titles available. It's a matter of preserving what was there right at the beginning of the book's life when the author was creating it electronically. So it's not asking for anything special or extra. Daisy Books, created from open XML documents using the Save as Daisy plugin in Microsoft Office, allow the same navigational flexibility sighted people use when reading. In London, we have tactile pavement that has these small bumps on it, and I know that's my crossing point. It's crucial. It's the way the city is labelled. There is nothing really different from the physical environment as to a Daisy book. How do I know where that road crossing is? We can see navigation points on Daisy's being linked. The Save as Daisy feature in Microsoft Word is actually a really big advantage to us. If a Daisy book is really nicely structured, we can jump from bookmark to bookmark, chapter to chapter. That is actually amazing because we can just do like a sighted person does. It's very important that we can read what we want. When a book is in Daisy, it doesn't matter. We can read the same books as the people who aren't visually impaired. Technology, when it evolves around people's actual needs rather than the needs of the designer, that's when it starts to work. <laughs>